it's, it's like a magnifying glass, but it's like in a lens that you just like hold with your eyeball. You know what I mean? What? Yeah, you see with like, like, like you see in like cartoons, like a jeweler will have it. It's like a fucking like. Oh. It's it's, it's like a little just like magnifying glass. Yeah, one of those glass. one of those like little lens. little to like. It's ah. like a monocle, but you just hold it with your eyeball. To to see the the fine green. The fine green, the, the, fi the fine green of the uh, of the the diamond. Jesus Christ! Why did that take so much to get out of me? The diamond. Do diamonds have grit to them? They yeah, must. they must. They must. They must. Oh, the hang on. Break. I should probably share my screen with you so you you have context to what's going on. Oh, I was gonna, just gonna. Well, no, because I'm a, I'm a admin or not admin. I'm a, I'm a mod, so I'll just swipe, look at your screen on on Twitch. Yeah, but there's, there's a, like a there's a like, delay. Like, yeah, sober. Yeah, whatever. Fine. I guess if you want to look at it, you can. I mean, to be honest with you, I'm not, I'm not really gonna be like be able to truly grasp what's going you, on. You, yeah, here. you. Where I, you have no context <laughs> or anything that is happening right now in this game. Why is he in the underworld? Yeah. I don't understand. Well, the thing is, like, even like I, it's, I, I'm so unfamiliar with the game that it's like I don't even know what I'm looking at. Yeah. Like, like it, you, you could be in a castle, and like to you, that's like, oh, this is like the final area. This is so epic, and to me, it just looks like, oh, that's a castle. <laughs> that's cool. What is up with this pin? One of these pins is like fucking pin gnarled. What Sorry, pin? in the, in the. I can't tell which do I because I fucking eyes are so shitty. My glasses on, this isn't even help me. Which way? Are you live right now? Yeah, yeah, we've been live for like a couple minutes now. <laughs> you serious? Yeah. Well, I, I told you I, oh I told god. you I was going live. Oh my god, I want to die. It's horrible. One sec. Is this the first time we've ever been live, like as yeah, a duo? Ever, ever. I wanted to play Half Life, and you fucking snarled your teeth at me and hissed. And you didn't want. To... Yeah, and, and Ma Megan's been listening. What um? Wait, you you wanted to you wanted to play Half Life Two live? I wanted to play Half Life live. I wanted to watch you play Half Life. Oh right, I I do remember that. Yeah, that was dumb. 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 You're an asshole. Dumb. Oh no, I'm echoing. All right, all right, one sec. Stop. Oh no. Sorry, sorry. That's yeah. One sec. Stop talking for a second. I'm just I'm just trying to hear. Myself on the chat on the on the stream. Myself on the chat. Jesus Christ, Nate. Sorry. So no, I'm I'm muting it now. I know I'm ruining your stream already. Oh wait, hang on. I they don't, the people the people don't know who you are. So I have... the only person is Megan. Yeah. The, the, shut up. Oh, because you're recording this. That's right. I forgot. Well, it goes up. Uh, I, I I export the VOD to, uh, to my second YouTube channel. That's so what are we? We're on like Justin TV or something. Yeah. Now we're on Chatterbait. <laughs> Dude, is that what was Chatterbait? Uh, 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 ah, there we go. Now, now, now the people know. The There's crowd. two people. Who's the second second character we have in this little saga? I feel like I should be able to see this, but am I the other viewer? I think you're counting me as the other viewer. Yeah, you might be. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Okay. Fuck this goddamn microphone. I'm not yeah. This right. Well, well, well. There's. It's also a let's play channel. Well, mostly a let's play channel. Not really podcasts anymore. Podcast. Oh, I see it. Oh, no, what does she mean? I get it. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> All 
I don't get it. I don't get your. Well, I, I I told her way back when we did the um when we did the Korra cast that uh, she wasn't allowed to watch it. Why? Because we talk about fucking Avatar porn. Is that why we can't? She can't watch it. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, the cat's out of the bag now, so. It was, was a. I not uh... supposed to say that. Was that supposed to be like under wraps, like forever, like lock and key? Not necessarily. <laughs> she she what she is. She, she, she I mean she she's gonna go look it up afterwards. She's, she's in not, the market. She's for not gonna some, watch it. She's gonna... No, no, she's in the market for some awesome Avatar porn. She, she, she's... <laughs> Should I not say that? That's a horrible say. I don't know. Let's let the let's let the viewer decide. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! What have I done to this to this wholesome chat? I uh, how do I do this? Emotes only chat. <laughs> Wait! Don't don't do this! Don't don't do this to her. She doesn't understand Twitch. You can't. Just thrust emo only <laughs> chat on her. She doesn't know what an emote is. Okay, I'll turn. Or what Twitch emotes are. She knows what emotes are. Or what emoticons. Kind of cool emotes what kind of cool emotes do you have? Do you think that's like at all cool? Yeah, but you don't you don't know like Twitch. You don't know you don't know the Zoomer websites like Twitch. You you know like V Bulletin boards and stuff. What the fuck is v, v Bulletin boards? What is what, what did you just say to me? The bulletin, it's like um it's like a layout oh, like for message boards. Fortune? Message boards, you know, those 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 things that old people go on. Oh like fucking nine gag? Yeah. <laughs> what are they why do you have Pokemon? Are they, did you choose these? It freezes the stream and I have to refresh. That's because Twitch sucks. Are you on the mobile app? The infinite the infamously terrible mobile app? I've been on the internet longer than you've been alive. <laughs> oh, you're on your laptop. For some reason, yeah, I don't, I don't know what it is with Twitch either. Is that sometimes I'll um, I'll be on it, on like the on like the desktop, and then I'll just like do something, and then the stream will just be in a forever buffer, and until I refresh it, I don't understand. Mm. Forever buffer. Yeah. Follow. I don't know. I don't get your techno terms here. Speaking of techno, we're in the Tower oh of Oh my god, Apple. that's so cute. Featuring native dumpster fire smile face. Oh my FG, that's so cute. What? This, I, I can click on. So on my screen, there's a face of, of you, of your little profile avatar. Yeah. And then there's a heart next to it. And I can click on the heart and it'll break the heart. What does that do? Does that unfollow you? I think that's the unfollow, yeah. I can unfollow you while I'm a mod of your chat. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm I don't know why you want to do that, though. I mean, I get such a high class good. content. I did not even. That's a great No, that's a good point. Yep. Can I be full screen and still see chat? No. Not see that. So I'm, I'm learning. I'm learning Twitch. Good lord. I know, I know. It's embarrassing. Oops. Oh no, what have I done? Are you playing the game, dude? Like, what's going on? Yeah, I've been I've been playing the game. Dude, it's like fucking frozen on my screen. Well, what's what say you, Megan? Is it frozen? Oh, never mind. Okay, I, I, I paused it and unpaused it and fixed it. Now it's... Yeah, it's good. Oh, yeah. All right. So okay. So give me a little explanation of what I'm seeing. So this is this is, this anime. is okay. This is Final Fantasy IV, known as okay. Final Fantasy II, until yeah. like until all right, like. All right, hold up. All right. Pause. Hit the brakes. Could you give me like a ten minute explanation of that whole that whole situation, please? Okay. So in. The late 80s, when Final Fantasy first came out, the first Final Fantasy game, Final Fantasy 1, came over to the West. 
and uh, it was a modest hit, but it wasn't like huge like it was over in Japan. So when Final Fantasy 2 and 3 came out on the Nintendo, uh, they never got localized. They just never came out over here until way later. Uh, in the meantime, this game was being made and was released on the Super Nintendo, so they decided to give the give the whole Final Fantasy thing another shot and release this one in the West as Final Fantasy Two. Yeah, James Rolfe uh, like made a whole made yeah a he had a whole that, right? he had a whole video about how it's confusing and weird. Then I think you just stole that whole thing from him, right? Mm. Then they released um. Then they made another Final Fantasy game for the for uh, the Super Nintendo and they didn't release that one over here but then Final Fantasy 6 they did release as Final Fantasy 3 and then when they released Final Fantasy 7 they were like fuck it it was fuck it just call it Final Fantasy is there a comprehensive like like package of all the Final Fantasy games nowadays uh not all of them but they bundle them together a lot well like is it is it I mean obviously you're playing Final Fantasy 4 right now but, but I mean is it is it easy to find an English version of the other Final Fantasy games that weren't initially released over here? Yes, that... pretty much. You, you, uh, all of these games eventually came out over here on like Game Boy Advance and stuff. And other okay. consoles. I think the first time there... Final Fantasy uh, like 2 and 5 came out over here was on the PlayStation. So Is there it, like... like a whole collection? That you can buy you get entire like every Final Fantasy game up to no. at least all the two D ones. Not all of them. A, you can get a decent amount, but you, you can't get all of them. Uh, like uh, so, I think there was a bundle, like ten and ten two are usually bundled together. Uh, there was a um, there was like a cartridge for the Switch that was Final Fantasy seven and eight, but not nine for some reason. Seven and eight. Yeah. But not nine. Well, I don't know why not nine. They just decided. Aren't not. seven and eight considered like classics? Final Fantasy seven is considered like a classic, and eight is okay. Spoonie fucking hates it. Did he rips his hair out when he plays? Yeah, like... Spoonie hates it. Spoonie, uh... To be fair, Spoonie hates a lot of things, including yeah, like fucking including Final Fantasy and... uh, Final Fantasy ten for some stupid reason. I mean, I think he just hates the story. Spoonie is made of hate. Well, he's wrong about that too. But it has the it has the ha ha. But yeah, ha, it has the fun ha 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 laugh ha ha funny. It is funny. Yeah, and it's supposed to be funny. And like awkward. Yeah, but, well, what it, yeah, and then but it's just geniuses it's just online bad. make fun of it for being that when it's supposed to be that. Oh yeah, but it's just bad. Oh. Oh okay. <laughs> no, it's sick. Yeah, it, we we've been indoctrinated, scene, Nate. We're gonna we we'll defend that scene till the day we fucking die. Like it could still be like intentionally bad, but that doesn't mean it's not it doesn't fail at that. But it, you know I mean? the argument is that it doesn't fail, and that it does exactly what it set up it sets out to do, and is good. It is it is good, comma actually period. I mean, so basically, Spoonie sucks. That's all I'm saying. That's all. That's all. That's all we're saying. Oh, but dude, he fucking he shot the the, the guardian in the fucking head, dude. You're gonna call it? Was that the ten review? Fucking... Did the ten review have any like no, storyline shit? Uh, yeah. I mean, oh, I like the story. Ultima reviews. I was actually thinking of that one today. Not the Ultima, the Ultima we reviews the in general of about how good they are. I think I told you this. Maybe no. Maybe I did. No, I definitely told you this. Right? I'm starting. Or I'm trying to put together like a Spoonie archive. And there's a guy who gets what like, that fucking mean? like. Well, like I want to try to get all this. Uh, sorry, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't give that any content. I want to. All like I, I want to download all the Spoonie videos I can find. Oh, with watch. all the Russian subtitles. No, no. I'm trying to find them without Russian subtitles. Oh, and there's one dude. No, the, no, I'm not even kidding. This one dude on YouTube who's like a fucking hero. He's like, he, he just, even today, like, maybe not today specifically, but like two weeks ago, he uploaded. Like, he edits together his own Spoonie compilations of like the best versions of all the videos and then uploads them on YouTube. Oh, cool. I think I subscribed to him on the Dumpster Fire channel, so you should. So I, if you went on there, it would probably show up. 
Yeah, I, I still need to. I, f I feel bad. I still need to finish the Sonic Mania thing. Yeah, how many are left in that? Uh, I think it's like a third of it is left or something. You should like just delete the rest of it. No, I won't do that. I'm not. I'm not as impulsive as you are, and self-loathing. Impulsive. Impulsive, impulsive? and self-loathing. Yeah. Loathing. What is impulsive? What is impulsive though? To just delete the like whole thing on a whim because you don't like it in this moment. It's kind of impulsive. When have I d have, have I done that? I no, I guess you haven't. To be fair. I fucking put the kibosh on one because it was terrible. Ah, it was fine. It was not fine. I'm sure it was fine. Apparently it just sounds Apparently like something it's... you do. It's true. You did message me one morning and be like, N Matt, we gotta stop Dumpster Fire. We have to delete it. We have to delete everything. Yeah. And I was like, why? Dude, I... And then like three hours I... later, you're like, you're right, never mind. No, dude, I fucking... <laughs> Like I think I think of Dumpster Fire. Like I think fifty percent of the time I want to like delete the entire channel, <laughs> and then at the other half I'm like, that's yeah, it's it's like I'm okay with it. So I'm like I'm really teetering on like the, I'm just abandoning everything. This so is what I have to against, It is. It is. The ill mind of Nate. I'm a tortured artist, Matt. I'm like I'm like some like a I'm like a girl and Poe if you think about it. I don't like to think. Yeah, because it's fucking difficult. It's difficult for you to think about how much of a genius I am. Cause, because I'm Edgar Allan Poe, as I said prior. You know, Edgar Allan Poe wasn't recognized for his genius until years later, after he died. Exactly. After exactly. he died, uh, an exactly. alcoholic in a exactly. ditch. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, dude. Here's, it's, it's all coming together. I'm only in the first phase. It won't be until the year 2307 that I will be known. I will be known to the masses as the genius that I am. That'll be the day when I'm 90 years old, I'll hunt down the password for Dumpster Fire and, d and delete the whole thing. And I'll pass on. My spirit will come out of my mouth like the Avatar and drift onto someone else. Cool. Yeah. All right, I'll go then. Bye. See. You. <laughs> well, no, you, no, don't leave. This is good. This is. You should have seen the last, last of these streams I did, where I was like silent for like ninety percent of the time. That, that's like a classic Spoonie, Spoonie movie. Yeah, I, I was at, I was thinking that exact thing about how this is a Spoonie esque stream because I'm. Have you seen dead, his dead silent and not contributing? Have you seen his stream? His streams are literally called like. Uh, live wire or Spoony plays fucking something no commentary in parentheses. <laughs> well at least he tells you what you're getting ahead of time. <laughs> yeah, but it's like who would fucking turn tune into that? Um yeah, I, yeah, I don't think he's stream. streamed in a while. No, he, he, stre he streamed like twice this month and I'm kidding. You. Oh really? He he yeah, usually he streams, streams at the end of the month because he needs Patreon money. That's exactly what he does, but he actually has streamed a couple times. But his, well, I think he tweeted today like I, I just want my life to drift away or <laughs> some fucking Jesus. emo shit. Jesus Christ. Emo shit. Yeah, no, that was pretty exciting. Let's, I'm gonna look up Spoony tweets right now. Let's check out some Spoony. Do you still up. follow him? Commentary. I do. Well, I mean, I didn't for a while. I unfollowed. And then, uh... I would not follow And then him. I just... I decided just to hop back in and see what was up. And Dive back into the really nightmare. Uh... Dude, you know what's trend? Okay, so I clicked on on search, and you know what's trending right now in the United States? What's up? What? Cora, like literally, the Legend of Cora is trending right now. Oh, is it? I saw people in one of the Discord servers I'm in uh, were talking about it. Maybe that's why. Uh, I think it's just because Avatar that people are finishing watching this show and other. Oh yeah, they're like, where's Cora? Me, me it's literally while. right here. Like, like literally everything here is like a debate: is Cora better or like that? This is honestly a debate that like I'm, like I know I bring it up a lot, but I'm actually like, I'm like a hollow husk when it comes to this debate. I don't even oh, want to like you're dead inside me. when when I'm like, people bring it up, because like, I am. Like just like, yeah, seriously, it's like, 
I love I love talking about the show, but like no, but I mean specific. Like, I love talking about the show, but the specific debate of which show is better like makes my makes my like in, inside turn into like a into, like a ho- like, a, like a hollow drum. What the you know fuck? what else is you know what else is, is trending? Morbid hashtag morbidly obese. Let's check that out. Interesting. Ah, uh, dude, I should delete Twitter too. This <laughs> Twitter's like the worst. <laughs> All of us in quarantine. Oh, yeah. yeah, true. I think there's like a scientific sort of like, uh, like like method. There's a scientific formula of a uh, of being on a, a social media for X amount of time, where you start to fully take in the tr- like the true terribleness of the social media. I like to think it I'm just a... it just fades. I like to think it mostly bounces off me. What do you mean? Little do I know, I'm most likely just as rotten to the core. <laughs> what do you from, mean? From the social media, that is. Well, it's like, you know, you just like, you go on Reddit and you see like something's on the front page and you're just like, and you look in the comments and you're just like, why am I, why am I participating in this, in this, in this <laughs> farce? <laughs> Alright, so here's some, here's some. Charade. Alright. Here is the last two Spoonie tweets. He actually hasn't tweeted the in the fuck? whole in a whole day. He hasn't tweeted in a whole over twenty four hours. So. That's not a good sign, actually. Listen, listen. Okay, well, this is the last tweet he said. He says, "I've spent days trying to pull myself together to live stream, and I just can't. I can't do it anymore." And then before that, he says, "I hate my entire stupid existence." So. And then, <sighs> can't, uh, he, can't you just make the Final Fantasy fucking Final Fantasy well, Ten Two review well, already? Come on, man. Well, before that, he said, "Huh, I just found out a game that calls for a sixty-sided die. I do not have one of those. Yes, I know you can use a D six plus a D ten. So, okay, so he was doing good then. But then, right before that, he said, like every other night, I spend it sitting here in misery, just waiting for the world to end.' He's very clearly <laughs> bipolar, in the most. Oh, wow, I no, he's very clearly like it, it's 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 a truly tragic situation because he yeah it's pretty fucked up like he obviously has a problem but he's just like so deep in the hole of just like post pitiful uh tweet I uh, garner a whole bunch of uh, yeah. sympathy comments rinse cycle repeat make money on patreon and streams every fucking Make meager meager amounts of dollars it's just not it's just like he understands it's like a fucking crumbling he's like standing on the cliff as it's crumbling underneath him it's just like and he just doesn't know what to do sucks well because his vids were fired dog well you know what you know uh when's the last time you actually like sat down and watched his old videos um, like, it's as been in, a little while, but I'm sure I'd like, still like them. I dude, don't think that changed. If you rewatch the Final Fantasy X review, do you think you'd like, hate it? No, I've actually never rewatched the Final Fantasy X review because I know I'd hate it. Oh, I, I'd hate it even more than I already did. Which nah, we should do it. We I don't want. Do I don't want. Man. He didn't even fucking play the game. He just got like Bennett the Sage I, to play it for him. Fuck him. Nah, we need to watch it. Please, can we watch Final Fantasy X? Only if we record a commentary for it, and I get the bitch endlessly, and you have to just take it. I can. I mean, yeah, I don't know anything about the game. I just, I, that's why I want to watch it. <laughs> that's why I want to hear you bitch about it. All right, sure. Yeah, I'll do that. I, I, I'll, I'll do that for uh, for content. Entertaining. I love that. <laughs> Is there a fucking okay? Is there a website that lets you watch like you just put a file into a, a, the the thing and you can watch it synced up with a whole bunch of people? Is that possible? I mean, you can just you can make like a, a watch together or something, but that's not like a file yeah, but, per se. Yeah, but isn't it? That's just that's just YouTube, right? Yeah, I mean the video is on YouTube, is it not? Well, well I'm, I'm just saying in general. In general, is there like a website that you can do that? I'm sure there is, but I can't think. I, I don't know what it is off the top of my head. Is there a Netflix Watch Together website? 
Uh, I don't think so, because won't that be like piracy or something? I don't know. Well, I mean, maybe you both have to prove you have a Netflix account. That seems like a that seems like a very niche thing that Netflix no? wouldn't care to do. Absolutely latest. not, dude. You know how fucking common like a like a remote date night is or something like that. Like a couple's like, oh, let's watch. It's not date night. Movie too. It's not date night. What do you mean? What's the point? Oh shit! Thanks for the raid noodle. Is raiding? What the fuck does that mean? Uh, it just means that they're like hosting the stream now. Is raiding? Okay. Yeah, oh, that's geez, you know that's it's just sweet. Twitch speak. Don't mind it. <laughs> that's some sweet gamer terms, dude. Oh, emote, did I leave emote? Oh, no, I didn't. No. Holy shit, this place just got flooded, dude. What happened? Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, I think Noodle was like, uh, he was streaming, um. He was like streaming art or something. He was probably drawing pom pom. Were you drawing pom pom again? It's gonna get all inside baseball. I don't know what you're talking it's, about. It's. Uh, what was. What were we just talking about that wasn't inside baseball? Uh, Megan Pom Pom is um, Pom Pom is this Spoonie. OC that uh, my a friend of mine draws, and she's uh, she's cute. Uh, I'll show you her sometime. I'm sure. Working on commission. Cool. Very should, cool. Should, should we start a, a Spoonie art contest? Spoonie art. Or a Spoonie art contest. Spoonie fan art contest. And then we'll, all the proceeds will go to them. Uh, I don't like. L look, I know I'll the guy's going through like, a lot, but have, I also do, do not want to give him any money. A taker. We, ha we already have a taker. I will draw Spoonie. I will. I will be Spoonie. What are you? What are you gonna say to that, Matt? You can't say anything to that. No can. No can draw Spoonie. I can't stop him. Sweet. Sweet. So, uh, so no, you're, you're gonna draw Spoonie? Awesome. Alright, so, okay. I'm actually really excited about that. He's, like, committed to it now, because I'm, I'm watching. Alright, so explain what's happening on this game right now. You're fighting, uh, like, like, you're fighting, like, The Legend of Zelda or something? Uh, I was, um, we're going through the Tower of Babel to collect the final Crystal of Darkness, I believe. All right, that is all just absolute gibberish to me, but I'll accept it. It's quite simple when you really think about it. Isn't the Tower of Babel like a Bible thing? Yeah. So, are you okay? So, are you agents of God? Or are you agents of Satan? No, it's it's like it's like one of those like Japanese role playing game things where they just take stuff from the Bible. <laughs> so this and, is like and, 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 so this game is it's the most surface level meaning at all, you know, like Evangelion. I think it's more. I think Evangelion is a little, is like slightly more than surface level, but it's definitely not deep. It's. I, I'm pretty sure there's a. You, you know, you can do Death of the Author or whatever, but I'm pretty sure there's a. Well, Hideaki Anno has said himself that that the references to like Christianity and Evangelion are literally because he thought it, they looked cool. If that's well, not what, surface what level, I, mean, I don't know what is. What I mean, what I mean is like the like what what happens in the show is at least like tangentially related to things that actually happen in Christianity. It's not just like priests walking around because it's cool Christ looking, you know. Yeah. Like the fucking the the Dead Sea Scrolls. That's like that is a Christian document, right? Some might say. Is that is, is it? I don't know. I'm not. A, I'm not a fucking. I'm not a uh, that kind of guy. Uh, yeah, it is. Is it a Christian demo? Okay, there you go. I'd say that's more than surface level. If the entire plot of the show is like centered around it, I sound like pro Jared, dude. What the fuck, man? Why would you say that? No, he doesn't sound pro like pro Jared. You sound he's, now. <laughs> now this is inside Jared. baseball because nobody know. Nobody knows who Paradigm is. Paradigm. I don't think I've ever heard Paradigm talk. That is might that not how be true. that's spelled? That is not I, my my eyes. I have like mole vision. What does that say? Like, it's he's Paradigm. a he's a guy we know. 
uh, online. Does that, say, does, that say, does that say Paradigm? No, it says PRDGM. Is it's, that just it's, how it spells it? It's spelled PRDGM, but it's pronounced Paradigm. Alright, that's just asking for confusion. Hey man, look. It's not my name. <laughs> I can read your name, dude. Tectonic Improv. How long have you had Tectonic Improv? Like since the beginning what? the ting tings what about the ting tings ting -tings. i'm a big fan of the ting tings as you that all sounds know like fucking, what is that is that a band oh that's not my name yeah it's a band it sounds like fucking yo gabba gabba like what is, it sounds like a band that would be in, uh, maybe what's i'll the band that's in yo gabba gabba? maybe i'll the give you um bands? maybe i'll give you their album for one of these months because i really like that album uh their first album that is Hmm. Well, sorry dude, next month you definitely are watching Max Magician and The Legend of the Rings. What? What is that? You've, ne you've never heard of Max Magician and no. The Legend of the Rings? What the fuck are you talking about? Dude, I can't believe this. Believe it! It's Max Magician and The Legend of I, I don't even know, like, I mean, that's just such a, it's such a household name that I just figured that... It's like, it's like if I said, like, if I was like... Oh hey, uh, it's like I'm, I'm gonna make you watch Star Wars, and you're like, "What's what's Star Wars?" Like it's like it's it's like on that level, I think. I wish I could forget Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've never <laughs> seen any of the new Star Wars movies. Uh, good. You're better off. I've, I've never given a shit about Star Wars ever in my life. It's it's like. Let me tell you, pal. You didn't miss much. I've seen them, or the, 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 remember movie theaters? Dude, I love going to the movies. So. Yeah, Nate loves the movies. It's like the best. He loves to hack the movies, isn't that right? Dude, can I, <laughs> could you shut the fuck up, dude? Like, <laughs> thinking about those fucking actual leeches? Fuck you, dude. <laughs> it made me so bad. <laughs> oh my god, those fucking scumbags, god. Why would you oh, hey Gatsby, how you doing? opening my door. Don't you like how fucking the James Nintendo Nerd channel is now like, oh, no, now we just shill shit for Screenwave. We, sh we shill other channels. What does it mean to hack the movies? Hack the movies is like, um, it's just, uh, it's just some of the guys from like Screenwave or whatever who, who hitch their wagons onto, onto James Rolfe. Hitch their wagons, more like, you know, like, put a ball gag in his mouth and fuck him up the anus. It's more accurate to what happened to that poor man. But is that cool. actually true? What's, what's they, the, they what's the lore much, on they, this? Because I honestly don't know. To be honest, I'm, just, I'm being, I'm being quite yeah, I, right now. But, I was but under what, the what, impression what that, like, screen, my opinion of Screen Wave, which is admittedly, admittedly probably, uh, you know, a little... A little misinformed or uninformed but like it, it seems like they are uh, a necessary evil in that uh, they, uh... not really because I mean here's the thing is that they get views they get views but the thing is I think a lot of the views come from people who want James content because the, because the content that just has James gets way more views than just straight yeah. screen wave stuff I, I think it's just the way Screenwave came in and they just they, they bought they, they bought Cinemasker they own Cinemasker now did they buy them? They, I'm almost certain that they own they own Cinemasker and James like he obviously is still a big part of the company but if you watch I don't know, you watch James and Mike plays and like it's like the most awkward group of people I've ever watched in my life you ever uh, you ever see the one where um Black Liz, yeah. You ever, you ever see the one with uh, Vinny Vine Sauce? Uh, no, I never watched Vine Sauce. Uh, he's cool, but the the, the thing good, is, is yeah, that yeah. like he's also like one of the most awkward men to ever exist. Yeah. You ever met Vinny's cousin? We're not ready for this. You can't. We you can't just do this. He's not gonna. He's what not gonna it? understand. Yeah. I, you, oh man. So, um, I don't think I'll be able to beat this because Rydia has no MP. <laughs> Gotta come to my cousin's club, man. Jesus Christ. 
Oh, thank God. But this. I'm so used to like other Final Fantasy games where you get like no saves in a dungeon. <laughs> what is the save system in this game? Well, it, you know, it, in certain areas of the dungeon, you can uh, you can heal and uh, and save your game, but it's only on these specific spots. Can you? Uh, can you save like any time when you're outside of the dungeon? Yeah, on the overworld, you can save forever. Okay. Nate's invited to my quinceanera. Dude, if you haven't had your quinceanera yet, then I, I'm sorry, man. I can't, can't be associated with you. Man. That's that's too young. My my 15 year old Mexican is, but... female demographic. It's very big. You'd be surprised. I didn't actually even think about that. Males don't get quinceaneras, do they? I don't think so. What do, what do males get? Big? Part again, fifteen year old Mexican girl. Where is this? Oh, oh, what a geez, strange geez. bit. Where is this coming from? I, I mean, it's not a bit. It's just real, man. I don't know why you're the bit. Don't believe his lies. I mean, he's just like he's just kind of get it, like the movie, it. like the movie you made me watch. What movie again? Memento. Memento. You know, he's got the picture. Don't believe his lies. Haha. <laughs> Honestly, I've been thinking about it. That movie's actually a piece of shit now that I think. <laughs> what? <laughs> I like that. I like that movie a lot. I think that's my favorite no, movie you've given me so far. No, it's great. It's a great movie. God, I'm actually gonna run out of movies to do. Good. That's fucking possible. Well, it's like. It's gonna get to a point where it's like, oh man, do I. Like, what do I choose? It's gonna be like. But then, like, like every movie that I get to choose, gonna be like, that's not good enough. <laughs> I don't think too hard about it. Because, like, the whole point is that through these, like, monthly movies things we watch, or monthly movies and albums thing, is that we watch and listen to more music and movies. And just in general. Uh, I mean, I, I've been watching more movies. I watched The Matrix a few weeks ago. I've never seen The Matrix. Uh, it's a really cool, really good movie. Uh, I talked about it in the group I, I, chat, though, so you'll... I've said this a million times. Already. I mean, I've said this a million times, but... I, it, It's like, I, I, I've heard that The Matrix 2 and 3 are really, really shitty. So it makes me not want to watch the first one, knowing that the second and third one are just awful. It's like watching Dexter. Like, everyone says the ending of Dexter is really bad, so it makes me like, why would I watch it, knowing the ending's shit? Well, a certain person I know might argue that all of Dexter is shit. Or, or <laughs> it, most of it, anyway. So Is it the person in the chat saying, oh, Dexter sucks? Uh, it's, it's yeah. Just... I, yeah. No, not, so not her, not her, but Dexter. someone close. Well, what's frustrating is Jesus that Christ. It's like, I, I, I can't do that. I can't like start a show and be like, be like, oh, well, the ending is just bad. And it's like, well, then, like, in all honesty, that's like a big mark on the whole show. And it's like, it, 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 if the ending is terrible, then like, well, I guess there's value in the rest of the series. But it's like knowing that it ends terribly. It's like, well, that's just, I'm not going to get my satisfying conclusion that I'm, I'm looking for in the story. So I just don't even want to. Yeah, I get it. It's a like Game of Thrones. It's like I was—I was actually considering getting into Game of Thrones, but then everyone's like, "Nah, the last season's like probably some of the worst like, I, TV ever made." I moment. think that. I think that there's a difference though between later seasons of a TV show being shitty and movie sequels being shitty because, like, the ending of The Matrix 
could you could stop watching there and be like all right that was a really good story i need nothing more and uh, I'm perfectly fine with that. Movie. Whereas, like a season finale of a TV show is like the story is continuing. There is more. The story is not over yet. I can't follow the TV show for sucking later on because that happens to every show. That's not true at all. Except for House, yeah. No, he's right. I'm Breaking Bad <laughs> and Better Call Saul and uh, Avatar: The Last Airbender got better as it went on. So, nah, dude. Uh, what else? Uh... <laughs> you ever watch Monk? <laughs> I fucking I fucking hate thinking about Monk. I've never seen Monk, but every time I think about him, I just think of like this is like a Monk fucking wrong. homeless Mr. Bean. What? He reminds me of Mr. Bean. Monk reminds me of Mr. Bean. I know he's not Mr. Bean at all, but he reminds me of Mr. Bean. It sounds like a you problem. It, I mean, it is, but. Every time I see that fucking strange-looking fellow, the cover of the Monk DVD, I just like little monkey fellow. Watch this little monkey. Monk. Forget. Why did you make me think of Monk? I haven't been a Monk in fucking like ten years. I'm always thinking about Monk, dude. Monk. I have a certain like like fascination with those fucking terrible like, like shows that are like original shows on TNT and it's like there's, there's no way this show's good like um like Warehouse 13 I actually remember that well like shit I don't know like like fucking procedural cop shows they have, like there's like a hundred there's thousands My mom of procedural cop loves shows those shows she just watch she just keeps watching them there's just no end to them, Nate. They just keep coming. Mom loves those shows. Moms. Moms just love those shows. Because there's no fucking... There's no plot. It's always just like, oh, we find the guy in the end. We solve the case. Good job, gang. It's, it's like Scooby-Doo, but for adults. Did you see the new Scooby-Doo movie? No, and I don't want to. Why did you? No. No, and, and I was told not to watch it, so. Criminal Minds? Oh my god, don't get me fucking started on Criminal Minds. What was that, like, fucking procedural cop show that Trevor Moore was on? What? What is that? Was a cop show? Maybe it wasn't a cop show, it was like some sort. It was like a, maybe like a hacker show. Hacker show? I, 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 I do not. I have not followed the whitest kids you know. In any in any know? way, all I know is that they made Miss March. Trevor Moore had a few Comedy Central specials, and he had a. He's actually Trevor Moore just started a, a Whitey's Kids You Know YouTube channel, and he's just putting videos on it. That's they're bad. actually they're actually pretty funny. I I love uh, the Whitey's Kids You Know is probably the my my favorite call it sketch comedy. I feel like I feel like they, could, they those guys could have gone on gone on and do a lot more than they did they were gonna make a movie they were gonna make a white just kid you know movie but like they were working on the script forever and then when they tried to pitch it to a uh, paramount they just said no <laughs> no that's, so, that's what, how it goes i guess i don't know what they're, well, like, they're all kind of doing their own thing timmy's like a real estate agent or some shit that's sam's cool. writing for a, uh, a cartoon network show that's coming Sometime. What, what kind of like Cartoon Network show for like kids or something? Yeah, it's Cartoon Network. Well, you know, Cartoon Network is is a big umbrella. It could be like Adult Swim or something. I don't know. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, I mean, I, I actually don't know what show it is. He just, I just remember, he mentioned like, yeah, I'm writing. Like he, when he went, he said it on. Like the why does kid you know Trevor Moore thing? But the second he said the show, the stream like cut out. So it was like. Yeah, I'm working on this Cartoon Network show called Attic. It just broke up. <laughs> like, okay. uh, have you, Nate? Have you watched the Sack Lunch Bunch? Sack. Because uh, I haven't. I I I didn't know. Maybe you did. Breaking in. The show's called Breaking In. Okay, cool. Now answer my question. 
No, I haven't seen the Sack Lunch Bunch. I said it. I said it. Megan, is this like one of your one one of the weird like Twitter comedians you follows, like television show or something? Oh my god, these fucking chimeras are insane. This is ridiculous. Is it a giraffe mixed with a fucking lion mixed with a John Mulaney's kids show? Oh, I have heard of that. Trevor Moore also actually. I really know Trevor Moore he's, also has a kids show. He has like a prank show on Disney Channel or something. It's got David Byrne, and Jake Gyllenhaal. What kind of show is this? This is ridiculous. I should have grinded before I went in here. I was actually going to grind. I was going to grind um uh, earlier today. I'm not gonna. Actually, wait. I can beat this. I was going to grind earlier to today before I went to work, but I had when I tried to uh when I tried to play like load the ROM or whatever on on Beastness. It just like didn't work and crashed, so I had to do like troubleshooting before I went to work. It was very fun. <laughs> just to play the game, like, get into troubleshooting. Yeah, to just the to game. just to fucking play this stupid game. Oh, sorry to hear that, my friend. The sing and dance, that's really good. Yeah, doing stuff before work. I know it was. It's it's a grift. Don't actually do that. Don't don't actually do things before work. I was gonna say something. I forgot what it was. Oh wow. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Um. Hmm. 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 Something so, tells me that these guys are not with the fire. Oh, never mind. Anyone else? Anyone? Anyone else like Chipotle? And Chipotle layers? No. 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 No, sorry, buddy. Chimpotis? Chimpotis? Chimpotis. Fresh. Who's watching this nasty streamer? Got some free BB chips and guac today. If you go to Red Robin, you get a free birthday burger. If you go, uh. Your burger. You're blowing my mind. Red Robin's open. Um. I mean, I don't know if they're open. That's just the thing they always do. I think you have to be part of their special club. They do Megan, you could have gotten a. You could have gotten a birthday burger yesterday. What are you doing? No, she still can. How? It's just your birthday month. It's your birthday oh, month. birthday month. Shit, that's a pretty good deal. They make they make me want to die. We went to a red we went to a red robin once. Uh, it was the one in the mall. Uh, I remember it being fine. We did, and I wanted to die after. Well, yeah, you didn't really seem like you were in a very good mood after that. Would rather go to a Burger King. Yeah, they did. They did take a long time to bring out the fries, which was, I mean, let's be honest, it's the reason you're going there, right? They said I had a preemptive strike last time, but it didn't really feel that preemptive. That Chimera got went to work like right away. There he goes again. Here's your endless fries. We can eat three at a time. Exactly. Hopefully, kings. Yes. Good. Good. All according to Kaku. Cool. Cool. Nate, are you still there? Uh oh. I think we lost them. 
Uh, he probably dropped or something. He'll be back soon, I'm sure. Current control. Yeah, exactly. I thought he was being very silent. Yeah. It's okay. Hello. Oh, welcome what back. Hello? Yeah, hey, uh, I don't know if you were talking for the past, like, minute, but... Uh, I was talking for, like, a while. I, we didn't, Yeah, you were just, like, gone for a bit. Yeah, just, I guess my thing got disconnected. Did you guys... Okay, well... Wow, I was talking for, like, a while. I was telling Null Toxicity that I'm gonna beat his ass because he doesn't like Burger King. Well, he said he... He said he... Wait, you like you Burger want... King? I fucking love Burger King, dude. Really? <laughs> so good. Dude, really? Dude. Impossible Burger? The Impossible Burger is so good. I love it. I eat that. I, I've eaten like probably 30 of those. <laughs> They're so good. Nate, you're gonna turn to a woman if you keep eating those. I'll... I'll fucking... That <laughs> Delicious burger. They sell like 30 nuggets for a dollar, yeah, and they taste like 30 nuggets to a dollar. Dude, they're, they're chicken fries though. <laughs> so... The chicken fries are not that great. I, I'll i go to bat for like Burger King french fries because I like their french fries, but... Their fries are the worst fries of the whole... what? Are you trying to get buffalo that? sauce? It's okay. The buffalo sauce is fine. Matt, I swear to god, like, our brains are like parallel but like but perpendicular also, like, at the same time ambushed fuck yeah, this it's fucking ridiculous. I don't even get this I don't I don't, I don't yeah, need I this remember. the fries are like composite cardboard okay. pull up that clip of iDubs going yelling about <laughs> yelling about how people complain that things taste like cardboard when they don't come on fuck fuck you guys she died We we don't we don't talk about iDubs anymore. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! You fucking just fucking go on Reddit and fucking suck my dick. Relax, I'm not actually serious. Well, I am, dude. Go on Reddit and suck my dick. Except I except I actually don't watch iDubs anymore because he doesn't make cool stuff and hasn't since like oh. since like full force. Oh. I like iDubs. Which admittedly wasn't that long ago, to be fair, but still. Who is iDubs? Don't ago. worry about it. He's just some he's just some YouTube guy. He 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 got a he has a girlfriend and um and she like launched an OnlyFans account and then everyone started hating him for some reason. Yeah, basically. That's I have an unhealthy addiction to box opening Bro. stuff. He's a sim. Yeah, yeah, because he's a sim. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's- yeah, it's the oh, Tana, Mon the Tana Monagu guy. Yeah, that guy. Jeez, what if I open- did I open some Pandora's box of fucking- that I shouldn't have opened? Yeah, he's a sim. Don't worry about it. What have we, I done? We, we moved on. We- we stand leafy now. What have I done? <laughs> Oh no. T turn off emo only chat. Van just joking. I didn't do that. Oh. Oh, it must have been null then. I only have two mods. Yeah, look at my butthole, dude. <laughs> Fuck you. No, what are you doing? Stop meddling. This is all above the belt. Oh, what the fuck? She's dead. <laughs> Matt, you say that quite often, don't you? It's always. What? Did I did yeah, I use yeah. raise on the wrong person? Why did that not work? Oh my god, that's so fucking embarrassing, dude! Holy shit! Rudia's HP is dog shit, yeah, and she's even in the back row. She's actually been pretty good about not dying. To be fair. But... So, before Final Fantasy VII, was it like? pretty much just like dragons and wizards and shit like, or like, or like what was it no well i mean this this game already has some sci-fi stuff in it like i'm i'm in like a fucking technology tower but uh final fantasy 6 has a lot of sci-fi stuff in it like there's literally like mechs 
Okay. But seven, seven was the was like the most sci-fi one yet. When did it make that shift from like Lord of the Rings to like what it is now? Uh, it's kind of always been there to some extent. But I'd say like the first big shift was uh uh probably probably six. Probably six was the first mm. big sci-fi one. Can made freestyle? Uh no, but I do like the movie Eight Mile, so does that count? That just makes you white. I could probably I could probably rap like Eminem's entire like rap like ending rap battle verses at the end. I could probably do that, but I'm not going to. But good. You ever listen to the to the uh the the last like raps of eight mile and then punch a hole through your drywall? Dude, totally it's like good. Fuck yes, fuck <laughs> Dude, that ending is so good. It was like one of the best endings of any movie. Man, you, see, you, you know that video of that guy, he's playing like, like Step Mania or Beat. Yeah, and then he whatever. starts talking about Big Chungus. Does the Big no, Chungus no, song. He starts, no, he starts uh, punching a wall. You know, well, what he does oh, is, yeah, 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 yeah. He takes yeah, his yeah, laptop, or he, yeah, he takes his keyboard and smashes it through the thing. Yes. If 8 Mile is so good, where's 9 Mile? Where's 9 Gag? Well, they're doing a prequel called 6 Mile, setting up for a 7 Mile, which leads to 8 Mile, so... It's a whole. It's the whole Mile Cinematic Universe. The, it's gonna tie into um. It's gonna MCU. tie into Enter the Spider Verse with Miles Morales. Is the, the Disney Extended Universe? Who owns a? Um, wasn't it like a? This is Universal. Yeah. No, Universal. it was. I want to say it was um. I'm looking at it right now, bro. Oh, was it actually Universal? Yeah, I have a bro. I thought it was like I thought it was one of those like Disney studios that aren't Disney, so they can Touchstone. have so swears in it and stuff, like no, uh, Disney Touchstone, Touchstone. That's uh, most... that was Goodwill Hunting. What's the most like violent movie that Disney has released like under any of their brands? Like that was like Disney, like Touchstone is literally just Disney. Yeah, it is, yeah. Is... Touchstone is literally is is literally just it's the, like Fox, the studio you know, they like... use for when they yeah, don't yeah, want their name attached to something. Well, not exactly that. It's when they, I mean, yeah, I guess. So. But like, what's the most like violent movie they they put out? Bambi has the gun, right? Fox and the Hound has a gun. Fox and the Hound has like the old guy fucking blowing hole, trying to fucking shoot the, or sorry, the is it the old lady or the old guy? The old guy is trying to shoot. the the head with a gun. Ah, who cares? That's old cartoons. Fox no one watches those. Fox and the Hound is so good, dude. I'd rather watch Fox and the Hound than Bambi, if I'm being completely honest. Oh, yeah, because Bambi's old. Old and lame. Bambi's good, but it's just a lot of, like... <laughs> it's, like, a lot of, like, really, really quiet, like... leaves. Homeward Bound is Disney. Homeward Bound. It's Homeward Bound. It's not. It's it's the live action movie where the the animals ha get separated from home and they have to find their way back. And there's no, a whole, no, that's not, that's, there's an old that, golden retriever. Hey, shut up! And there's that's an old golden sad. retriever and his name is Shadow. Matt. And he's like he's like getting up there in age. And and they have a new dog and he's like kind of the mentor type. And but he just like he's just so old and he can't really like make it. But the other animals make it and. And there's like, but what about Shadow? Where's where's Shadow? And he's like, not there. He's not there with them. And then all, all of a sudden, you just like you hear like rustle in the bushes. He made it. He made it home. Oh God. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Dude, the whole time, the whole time you were talking about this, I was imagining like Shadow from like Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I'm getting misty eyed. It's a good movie. Oh, yeah. He doesn't even fucking die. Why am I crying? Holy shit. Well, I mean, he's a dog. Yeah, he's a, he's like a golden retriever. Is he old? Yes, he is. He's he's old. Oh. 
Well, rest assured that he's gonna be dead within like fucking like probably less than a year. So don't worry. It's okay. Uh, shut up. Well, don't worry. No, it's he's. Well, I mean, I, I, I don't know the movie. Is he like? Do they do they end the movie in comfort, <laughs> or what are they doing at the end of the movie? No, he 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 makes it back. He gets home, and presumably, I mean, I know there's like sequels and shit, but who cares? Uh, pr- presumably, <laughs> he lives out the rest of his days in peace. I don't know. Yeah, you, you didn't you didn't even listen. You didn't even listen. You just heard Shadow, and all of a sudden, you started thinking of <laughs> Shadow the Hedgehog. Disgusting well, black creatures. Get out of my oh, sight. Thinking, That's what you were thinking. All I was thinking about. All I was thinking about was I was thinking about if Shadow was <laughs> in Fox and the Hound. That's what I was thinking. Disney loves to use animals as shorthand been a while since the last tectonic video getting hungry yeah i know i've been very lazy i've been playing these stupid games instead of making youtube videos i was actually looking at the um at like the analytics or whatever or like when the last when my last video came out and it's like almost been a month i'm like fuck it's almost been a month god damn it Ugh. Ugh, dude you're gonna lose everybody yeah, I'm gonna lose subscriber. Subscriber. Yeah, yeah, it's it's true. There was the the people had to wait a while for that for that Children of Mana video. If uh, if Trials of Mana wasn't impending, you probably would have been waiting a lot longer. Getting up to the deadline, yeah, it's dangerous. I used to have a policy where um, where I tried to make a video a month, and now I don't really care that much. Deadline? What kind of deadline are we talking about? Oh, Null, um, Null runs Reps to Gog. I've told you about Reps to Gog, right? I think? Wait. Oh, the PS2 thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 I know that. I know that. I told you to ask, I'll just ask Nolan, hey, Nolan, can I review Tony Hawk's American Wasteland? Yeah, Nate wants to review Tony Hawk American Wasteland <laughs> when you get to that in, like, 15 years. Are you going in alphabetical order or something? Or like what the... No, he's going in chronological. Oh, yeah, like that game came out in, like, 2005, so... How many PS2 games are there? 62 there's 60 a lot there's games? a lot of playstation 2 games it's only um it's only the uh, american localized ones but still like 100 it's like 150 then or something fine let me review tony hawk uh <laughs> review tony hawk pro skater 4 that was really slow earlier i think i think that was like pro skater 3 came out on, uh, I never, I never PS played Pro Skater 3 for the PS2. I only played Pro Skater 3 for the PS1. Oh. oh. Dude, I was playing Thug Pro today. Oh my god. Was so... Have you have you changed your mind on the um, on the remake yet? Uh, well, that I saw that 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 long gameplay and it looks it looks better. Um, I'm worried about how. F- flowing it's gonna do lines i'm worried about that and i'm also worried about when like the skateboard lands it's doesn't i mean like it could feel very different playing it before the video footage like like if, if you like fall a far distance and you land on a skateboard it's gonna like slam kind of hard because like, your entire weight's hitting on top of it but it felt kind of yeah like like not impactful when they land but i mean i got Oh, well, I'm gonna get it. That's kind of why I was playing Thug Pro today, just because I wanted to remind myself of what Fuck's supposed to feel like. I have this wet dream of getting a European and Asian American on the chimp. European and Japanese releases. That would okay, be cool. Matthew Matosis. Get Matthew Matosis and. Yeah, I'm sure he would. Uh, I'm sure he'd, uh, he'd spend his time on Repsigog. That'd be and, pretty cool. Uh, 
I'm trying to think of an, uh, an Asian American like video game channel. Pro ZD. Is that his name? Pro ZD. Yeah. Joey the anime man. Andrew, why is Andrew Yang the most powerful character in your party? Uh, he just has the most health, but he, he's he's pretty clutch. I will admit. Hmm. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is the first in a series of five reviews. Super Mario series. It's always the Super Mario series. Why I that one? Because because him saying. Super Mario. The Legend of Zelda series. Legend of Metal Zelda Gear Solid Defense series. I didn't watch the Metal Gear Solid ones. Oh, uh, those nice. ones are good. I have but... no connection to those, that series at all. So. Fuck. Is he ever going to review Odyssey? Yeah, I, uh, from what I can tell, he's working on it. You just, you know how it is. It took him like, what, three years to make that Breath of the Wild review? No, it didn't. <laughs> or two, whatever. How, the point is, is he didn't, he didn't make the, he didn't make the review like two months after it came out. I don't know. Isn't he doing like weekly or like monthly? Who, Matthew Matosis? Matthew Matosis makes very good, uh, like, game, like, video game like review and overview videos i've i've told you about him before megan because of course i have he, but he's like he's he's actually great he makes sweet videos yeah he's probably my favorite youtuber one of my favorite videos of his is a odd world comparison video oh i watch that I one all the time I've, just like that his his like the, the indignation he has over that remake is really really funny Oh, dude, Matthew Matos is pointing out shitty things and shitty games is like the best thing. Although I guess yeah, he's the yeah he's city. the chicken biscuit guy. Chicken biscuit guy. Uh, from one of the live streams when he's talking about um when he's talking oh, with I'm... his girlfriend about what a chicken what what a biscuit is to Americans and he says it's like a. He, I, he doesn't necessarily he doesn't exactly it's, say it's like it's, it's the crash one right yeah it's the, the crash. crash stream yeah dude that fucking stream it, it, when he like breaks down it's like he like mentally breaks down because of how fucking shitty that game is it's pretty it, he spends like an hour in that fucking that what's it called <laughs> the the bridge level that's why I'm so worried about this Tony Hawk remake dude oh my god I'm surprised this guy's like still everyone, alive. I, I don't understand why everyone likes. No, I'm not gonna say. I'm gonna be. I'm not gonna soapbox. No, it's not, not a good idea. No one's listening. It's fine. Yeah, no, it's not. I have faith in Tony Hawk remake. I don't. It's vicarious visions, dude. They've never proven themselves to make anything worth it. They have made Tony Hawk games before. It's not like this is uncharted territory yeah, for them. They made the it, Game Boy I mean, Advance one, dude. It's in good hands. Is what I'm saying. Oh yeah. It's just gonna be on like the modern consoles. The gameplay they like should seems faithful to the original. I didn't think so at first, but I saw that that big like just solid HD video clip of it. it looked okay. <laughs> Tony, Tony said the Tony Hawk ride was good. Okay, we you can't you can't trust you can't trust <laughs> Tony. He's at we look. Oh, listen, guys, we all love Tony Hawk, okay? We all love him, Tony? but at the end of the day, he's here to push a product, okay? He's going to say whatever he needs even... to say to get you to buy that game. Tony isn't even, like, like coy about that. Like, he's in interviews, and he's like, yeah, I'm just selling the game. Like, it's just, like, he doesn't give a shit. Tony Hawk's sweet. He just, like, straight up admits, like, yeah, like, like yeah, you guys understand that, like, I don't make video games, right? I just, like, <laughs> I just, like, push I play the, the game for 20 minutes, and I'm like, yeah, this is good, man. I mean, like, he seems like he interest, like, he wants the product to be good, obviously, but it's, like... Yeah. And he actually has some info, like, about what's happening, but... 
like when when he plays Tony Hawk Ride, he has no like basis of like, oh, this sucks or this is good. He's just like, oh, that's cool. Do it's like, wow, it's like you're movie. actually on the skateboard. Insane. Like he doesn't play video games, so he has no fucking like basis. I guess I didn't play the uh, Crash uh, Team Racing. But I never played the original, so I guess I couldn't say. Did Vicarious Visions make that too? I think so. Yeah. Oh. But that fucking Crash remake is brutal. You could just. Uh, well, I, I I heard that the um the Crash Team Racing remake was good. Kelly Slater's Pro Surfer is the real hit. Yeah. Oh, I want to live in that world. I think we might have. I can't understand the word you're saying. Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, alright, you're good now. What's up? You were fucking with your mic, is all. Yeah, sorry, I I pulled my headphone out without thinking. But they they tried doing, like, Sean White, like, the snowboarder, but they tried to do Sean White Sean White snowboarding? Yeah, that one was actually kind of popular. No, 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 they did Sean White skateboard. Oh, what? I know. Did he skateboard, too? In, like, the summer games? Because I'm because now I'm live, so you can't even edit it out if I'm wrong. It's stupid. It's okay. I don't edit it out anyway. Yeah, I know that. Sean White skip. I'm talking about Mountain Dews, baby. Can we talk about how Sean White is the the most king of all of all the Olympic? gold medalists um well i was actually about to say um from september 2019 sean white finished 13th at the world skateboarding championship park event in san paulo so he's kind of fallen from grace hey i mean 13th at the olympics that's still pretty good uh no yeah, i guess you're right i guess it's higher than i am yeah that's still like that's still like the summit upper echelon of skateboarder <laughs> Sean White Skateboarding is a skateboarding game published by Ubisoft Montreal and published by Ubisoft for the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, Wii, and Microsoft Windows released in 2010. It is the third game in the Sean White series. Let's check out some footage of this. He's not top six, so he's not a god by melee standards. Yeah, true. Some might say if you're if you're if you're six, then you're not a god. But I don't want to get into that. This game looks so awful. This game's sick. I don't know what you're talking about. Pivotal moment, boys. Your fun is over. Cool. Oh wait, hang on, I have to fight a boss, or... Oh, never mind, it's just fucking three goblins. For some reason I thought this was... Like, uh, be way worse. What I really like about this game is that there's only one fucking battle arena, and it's really cool. Well, I mean, it's the only battle arena in this dungeon. I know, I'm just being... And it is very just cool, like, you're right. It's... It's all I've seen this whole time. It's just this screen, basically. Yeah, this dungeon's been... This dungeon's kind of long. It's all, It's done now. Pretty much done. So long, dwarves. Ha! Well then. No one can stop the super cannon now. What? Oh. Yang! What are you doing? Leave this to me. Go! Get out of here! No! It'll explode! Go! Oh shit, he kicked this out. Oh, is he... is he... sacrificing himself? Yang! Tell Sheila to live for me! Open up, Yang! Don't do this! It's been an honor fighting with you all. F's in chat for Yang. Well... Yeah. I'm 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 heartbroken right now. 
Me too, because I forgot to unequip all his gear. <laughs> so, did you just lose a bunch <laughs> of shit? It won't budge. Did you just lose a bunch of shit? Just the gear you he had. Pick... You can't go pick the gear off his corpse? No, because he locked the door. Well, just, just do the lockpicking minigame and it'll be fine. Ah, uh, I didn't think about that. Just, just no clip through the door. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's almost uh, one o'clock. Do you want to stop at that point? I don't want to crash soon. I gotta wake up at 9.30 tomorrow. What's the occasion? I just gotta go into work and do some stuff. Oh. I thought you guys were close for the week. Uh, no, that didn't end up happening. I thought everyone figured it would, but just didn't. Know. Yeah, my boss called me today and said, nope. Show must go on. Oh man, they're not closed this week. State's opinion of HEMA? What the fuck is that? H E M A? What is that? Isn't that a, um. Isn't that some sort of, like, work order thing? Like, workers' like rights Nambla thing? No, it's not like Nambla. I think you're, you're thinking of OSHA, I think. Well, well, you know, it might be, like, OSHA 2. Hema. What is Hema? No, you have to explain to us what Hema is. He, he, I'm sure he's about to. Oh, I forgot. I, I always forget there's a delay, sorry. No, it's where no, dudes dress dude. up like medieval knights and- What the fuck? Why are you bringing this that, up? Is it that, that that video of, like, the two knights fighting each other and then that one knight just, like, does, like, a fucking roundhouse kick to his head? Medieval times? That does sound like medieval times. I've only seen that clip of it, and it's a really, really funny clip. Have you seen that clip, Matt? No. That sounds okay, so, right so up my alley, two, though. So these, these two knights, they're in, they're in the ring, and they're, like, doing this, like, actual, like, combat. But like it's like they're like all right go and it starts and one of the dudes just fucking like goes up and kicks the dude in the head as hard as he can. <laughs> and then they're in like fucking plate armor and stuff. It's exactly. That sounds pretty badass. Let's explore this niche. Night, fight, head kick. Oh, no. Is it this one? I'll have to watch it after the stream. I have to find it first. I left everything I owe in one piece. It's not this video, no. This isn't, this isn't it. Head. Is this it? Oh, I think this is it. It's not like fucking eye funny. Why is it not eye funny? Because <laughs> it's funny, bro. <laughs> Alright. We're out of here. I can't use the emergency exit. Can I use actual exit? No. <laughs> what the fuck? God damn it. He kicks him in the head, and then the dude's like on the ground not moving, and he like hits him like three more times with his sword. <laughs> you know why they won't let me leave? I'm pretty sure there's a cutscene that happens at the at the bottom oh, floor, God. that's why. How annoying. I'm sending this to you. You do need to watch it before the stream's over so we can get your genuine reaction well, to it. Well, yeah, we'll we'll play it uh, at the end of the stream. Holy crap! Was that a gorilla? 
It was a stone golem, actually. What the fuck? What are you trying to do right now? I'm trying to escape this hell. Sweet. So, so Matt, I'm gonna make you watch. I'm making you watch Nightmare on Elm Street, and the next one is gonna be Freddy vs. Jason. I'm gonna make you skip all the other movies and make you watch Freddy vs. Jason. I hope you're serious. I hope you're serious and you serious. waste one of the movies that I have to watch on fucking something shitty like Freddy vs. Jason. I I said we need to do a shitty, a shitty like, <laughs> like a shitty movie and a shitty album. I. But not just like shitty. It has to be like actually like. You said nightmares like about Freddy vs. Jason. Like it needs to. It can't just be like ah uh, yeah kind of bad. It needs to be, a, needs to be no, like, it needs to be like an a event. special. A special brand of terrible. Yeah, I get you. Have you seen all seven Nightmare on Elm Street? Nightmare on Elm Street's one of my favorite series of all time. I love Nightmare on Elm Street. I have the box set over there. And I own all of them on DVD. Uh, other than that. Yeah, you've seen all of them as far as I'm aware. I can't think I've, of yeah, like an album, an album that's like... Times. That's like special bad though. You know? What is your ranking? Oh god. I watched them over Halloween. Over the month of October. And I used to hate the second. I used to hate the second. But then I rewatched it and I actually loved it. Uh, my ranking is... The best one's the first one. <laughs> so the best one... I mean, obviously All right, Null, the first one. Null's gonna supply us with the bad albums. Okay. So the first one, the first one's the best one. The second best one is probably the third one, even though the ending's really steep. Is that the one with and the like, wizard master? Yeah, that's the one with the wizard master. Yeah, that's the best one. It's the second best one. Uh, nah, it's the third best. best one. I am the wizard master. I am the wizard master. He should have beat. He should have beaten him. That's Sorry. the only that's the only blemish with that movie is that he doesn't actually beat Jason's ass. I mean Freddy's ass. No, no, he fails completely. But the ending is really dumb. Like they just like throw holy water on him, and then he just dies unceremoniously. But uh, the f the honestly the fourth and the fifth. Okay, well then I'd say the the third best one. In terms of like the ones I like is probably the second one. I really like the second one. Now, even though it's got a lot of weird stuff, it's good. Uh, the f I like the fifth one honestly, just because it's really like weird and experimental and weird, weird, just weird. So yeah, so probably one. F yeah, so here it is. It's one, three, two, five, four, seven. Oh, sorry, seven, six. Actually, seven's also really good, but I don't Jesus like it as much. It's, 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 like, there's a lot of them. The fifth one is the girl from the fourth one has a she gets pregnant, but like the but Freddy's using the dreams of the baby to like to like gain power and and, and like come back to life. The, the the plot is really stupid and doesn't really make any sense, but it has a lot of cool special effects and. uh... You could tell they were trying to do something like really weird with it. They were trying to get jiggy with it. It's yeah, it's just it's fucking strange. Like you see, like you get like this. Okay, it has one of like the weirdest kills in the whole franchise. Where this kid, he's really into comic books. And he like he like, draws comics and stuff, and he gets pulled into the dream. And Freddy like it's like all black and white, but it but what's cool about it is it was like. Is it like the you Take On Me them. video? No, no, no. Uh, so, no, no. It's uh, it's black and white, but like the set is black. You know what I mean? Like they, they didn't just like make yeah. the footage black and white. They made the set black and white, or at least it seems that. But like, so he's like, 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 like they're, they're kind of like you know talking to each other in, in in this weird like warehouse, and this kid's like. This is my dream. I'm in control, and he fucking turns into his comic book character. He's like this big badass with like fucking like dual wielded machine guns. And he just starts fucking shooting Freddy to bits, and then 
And then Freddy like gets back up and he's like a superhero with a cape and like a and like a fucking what? He's like all buff and he's like buff and jacked and he has like a super he's like <laughs> Crazier than a local madman. <laughs> he's super Freddy and he like fucking kills and, and he swipes at the kid and the kid turns into paper. What the fuck? The kid turns into paper and then So this all, is when like, they the stopped color. like giving a shit about making Freddy scary, right? They stopped that in like the third one, honestly. Third and, one, but but like, then they wanted to scary. make them scary again in New Nightmare. Well, New Nightmare is like a completely different thing. I would say New Nightmare is really all that scary. I mean, it can be scary, but it's also like just kind of yeah, yeah. It's like really good until the very end. The very end is just dumb. But I, I don't know. Like you get what they're going for, but it just just doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> I want. I want to see nude thing. nightmare. If you know what I'm saying, am I right? Um, fun fact: the first Nightmare on Elm Street movie that had nudity was the third one, actually. I'm sure you remember that very well. Have you I seen do. S. Darko? No, and I never will. It's kind of what I was talking about with the whole like Matrix sequels and how they're apparently bad. Uh, I don't need. I don't. I don't need to see the the sequel to Donnie Darko that was made like 20 years later. I don't have to watch it for the culture. That's not true at all. Uh, oh, Matt, well, S. Darko is about is about um <laughs> is about his sister. Sally Darko. Is it actually Sally? No, you you <laughs> no know. it isn't. You are. No, no, that's Sally Acorn. You're thinking of. Yeah, of course. Samantha. Yeah, that sounds right. I think it's the younger sister, not the older sister. So Sammy Darko. Bad. It's bad Darko is what it should have been called. <laughs> I bet it doesn't even have Tears for Fears. So Matt, when are we watching The Last Airbender? Never. Matt, come on, we gotta watch The Last Airbender. Come we really don't. I don't want- uh, what? It's only 90 minutes long, it's so short. It's not like if it was like two and a half hours long, I'd understand, but it's like so short and it's like it's such an important part of the Avatar. It, that it's not mythos. at all. I don't understand where you're getting this from. It's not important at all. They've just forgotten. No. It's just a forgotten no. relic of I'm its time. It's important, but that it's not forgotten. Nice. I'm saying it's such it's such like an important part of Avatar culture is the terrible movie. That's like it's like it's become like a like you can't just ignore that it exists they they literally do it's literally like a meme to ignore it but what i mean is like we can't do like as an avatar favorite avatar century. character sokka oh my favorite god are you character. fucking serious avatar i mean like the the, the generic answer is iroh so i don't want to say iroh iroh yeah iroh is kind of like the low-hanging fruit answer like of course but he is. everyone likes Iroh. But, but he, well, well he but he I mean that's the thing is he is the best character by far. <laughs> but, uh yeah, he's cool. Uh who's the best character? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I just don't know. I like uh, Chan and Ron John myself. Chan and Ron John. Those are those the characters those are the guys in the Great Divide. No, that's shit. It's it's <laughs> Chan and Ron John, are you serious? I don't I don't remember Chan and Ron John. Or at least I don't remember their names. They're the best characters in the whole show. It's Chan and Ron John. I can't even describe enough it of this, any better. This, enough of this meme. I can't I explain weary. it any better. I can't I, I honestly like that's their character. Imagine two characters named Chan and Ron John. Let's look at what they are. Ron John Ron Jovi. Jesus Christ! So the fucking two guys are on M when when the when Zula and them go to the party, like oh those guys, season, the yeah, jocks. Okay. It's Chan and yeah, you know you're right. Chan. Those are the best characters. This is wrong, John. You were right. I'm sorry. I threw a doubt at you. you should, yeah, I don't know what you think. Wow, the best kid. Yeah, that's actually like the hardest question I've ever been asked. Came pretty easy to me. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Uh. Uh. 
I like Wong Fang, he's cool. Even though he gets totally fucking baited by a uh, Azula. Is that the other guy from the fucking beach episode? Wong Fang is the leader of the Dai Li. Oh, that guy. Yeah, I don't I don't remember names. That that one should have been that one should have been kinda obvious though. That's a pretty you're talking about, Earth Kingdom. Talking about the blue avatar. No, we're not talking about the blue avatar. What's What the fuck is the blue avatar? Is that Korra? Is that supposed to be Korra? Matt, the fucking movie called Avatar, the James Cameron movie. Oh. See I had, uh arguably more forgettable than the Avatar Last Airbender movie. Avatar 2, that's coming the, soon, everyone. Get get hyped. That's, Matt, that's the thing. is, is The Last Airbender movie isn't isn't forgettable. It, it's not forgettable at all. It's so fucking unforgettable. And your dreams. Matt, come on, dude. You have to... It's 90 minutes long. That's not even anything. I don't want to think about any of this shit when the world is over and has been and, and will continue to be over you talking about world's over well it's over dude the world's over and had a good run and, and now it's done Avenger. I guys I, I need to buy a copy of the last Airbender. I didn't even know there was an avatar movie are you fucking kidding me an OVA, an OVA. no Ma is Megan, right see, see, this is how forgettable it is. Megan doesn't know about it. Uh, don't worry yeah. about it, Megan. It doesn't exist. It's fucking... an OVA. No, Avatar's not a, a Japanese show. Megan, it's, it's not. A, it's, it's not a, like an American animated show. movie. It's a. No, uh, it's it, a live action movie. In like 2010 or something, M Night Shyamalan made a live action Avatar movie. Is widely considered to be terrible. It, uh, not just that, Matt. It's widely considered to be one of the worst films of all time. Oh, it's now I want to watch that on it. The, it says that on the Wikipedia page. Literally, widely considered to be definitely one of the worst written by an Avatar time. fan. No, well, like there's a list of movies. Like it, it's literally a Wikipedia page called "List of Movies Considered the Worst of All Time," and, and the Last Airbender gets a uh, gets a prime gets prime real estate on this list. That's what I'm talking about, Matt. It's like the perfect storm of awful. You need to watch it, please. I beg you, please. Fine. Fine. What do I gotta get on my hands and knees? I just said fine. <laughs> All you have to do is tell me it's considered the worst movie ever. So I, so when I watch it, I'm like, yeah, it was not that good. Did you know that? I know it was considered bad. I didn't know it was on like a, a list. I thought it was just like low-hanging fruit for like internet reviewers or something not like actually considered genuinely terrible you think it would be considered one of the worst if it wasn't avatar actually I, no there's no way if it didn't have the brand recognition of last airbender it'd just be another forgettable shitty movie although i guess since it's m night Shyamalan, it'd probably be a little more high profile i think nate disconnected again so he doesn't get the butt in See how much I rely on Nate, our co-host in general, to bounce off of, otherwise this is dead silence. Shit. Matt? Hey, welcome back. Did I, did I, yeah, did you, I cut cut out, out again? you cut out again. When did I cut out last? I don't know. Or, 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 yeah, or just like chat interaction in general. I just, I just play, I just play the game, I don't even fucking, I don't even bother trying to be entertaining. Oh, okay. Well, you think it would be good? well? Did you get? Did you hear my answer? To do you think it would be considered one of the worst if it wasn't Avatar? No. Okay. Well, basically, what I said was it absolutely is. It absolutely would because 
it spends about 70% of the runtime uh, regaling exposition about what because it because it's it, it condenses an entire like season of the show into 90 minutes so it's they spend like 70 percent of the runtime talking to each other about things that they should already know so that the audience is clued into what's going on to the other 30 percent of the movie yeah um sounds good to me sounds like that's how you make it and, and uh the entire and Sokka yep. and, uh, the, 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 the southern water tribe the southern water tribe is entirely like culturally accurate like they're all inuits like they're all except like, for katara is, 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 who is a one woman except for katara and sock who are both ca- very caucasian people that's funny as shit golbess they're, they're two beautiful aryans with blonde hair blue eyes and red armbands it's weird because they got like they got like an asian kid to play ang or ong sorry ong yeah, and, yeah exactly. uh, i'm pretty sure zuko is also asian no, they did. Uh, is is he Asian? Yeah, he's Asian. I think so. I think he. I don't think. I, mean, I don't think he is. I think he just kind of looks Asian. Or no, he's he like. Is. is he? Is he Indian? Yeah, they I call him. He was born Ong. in Dallas, Texas. He has stated that he has some Native American heritage. Oh, okay. I mean, everyone. Every, every, everyone claims that. Sid Ringer saved kept the his day. head shaved and fellow students nicknamed him Avatar after the character Aang of the show. The kid who played Ong in the movie, he was only in two movies, and that's The Last Airbender and Cowboys and Aliens. <laughs> Ouch. Come on, Sid, pull through. <laughs> uh oh. This 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 fucking stream's gonna be a fucking death toll. Like no other. I'll close the hole up with this bomb. I wanted to see your kids, but I guess that ain't happening. Head to Baron and get those two lazy bums to help ya. Sid, no! Are you on are you on the ocean or in the air? No, we're in the underworld. Oh, obviously. Yeah. This is yeah, this is actually this is hauntingly like Ground Zeroes, actually. Except instead of a, instead of like some pretty, some pretty girl, it's this bearded man. Fuck. <laughs> Damn, he's done. The sacrifices in this game that amount to almost nothing is is pretty funny. Nate's gone again. No, sorry, I'm not gone. I was I was reading about oh, the moment of silence for Sid. I understand. Stuck fool. Sid died. Sid. Yeah, he blew himself up to plug up the hole in the underworld. Fucking idiot. So they could not uh, chase us. So is this game just consists of like all the characters sacrificing themselves to stop things until there's like one character left? Uh, it happens a it happens a lot because there's a lot of there's a thing in the party the party like composition in this game is you go through like a lot of them and like for story le- reasons people will come and go and a lot of times the reason they go is because they like die not necessarily like sacrifice themselves all the time actually. I think it is every, almost every single time because uh well we had Tella who used Meteor to try and kill Golbez and that didn't really work. Powell and Porum turned themselves to stone, not necessarily dead, but they uh they effectively leave the not party. Necessarily dead. Not, not necessarily, necessarily dead. You, yeah, they turned themselves turn to stone you were dead. They turned themselves to stone to like stop walls from like crushing your entire party. It's actually pretty sad because they're like kids. 
Uh, but they, uh, you know, uh, pretty uh, pretty much everyone besides Tella uh, ends up all right by the end of the game. So forgive me for laughing at Sid blowing himself up, but it is kind of funny. Uh, but you know what? It's like it's like one fifteen. I think I think that's a good enough stream. Watch the, watch the video. Watch the video. Watch the video. Oh watch right, the video, right, 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 right. Hang on, hang on. I gotta set. I gotta set up so that the stream can see the video too. In in an interview with Dante Bosco, the original voice of Prince Zuko, when he was asked of what he thought of the Last Airbender film, he responded by saying that the show's creators, Brian Cun, whatever, and Michael D. Dante Martino, told him not to see it. Ouch. That's rough. Roger Ebert gave it half a star. That sounds about right. That's what I mean. Oh, I, I, really to, I have to go to iPhone again. It's so fun. Jesus. All right, all right. Uh, hang on, I got. Jesus. Gonna... The review aggravation uh -huh. aggregation website Rotten Tomatoes gives the film five percent approval rating based on hundred and eighty nine reviews. <laughs> That's a lot of reviews. All right, here it is, everyone. Was Nate in the atop the fourth wall video? We don't talk about. We don't, yes. we, we don't talk about. Yes, that. He, we was. Talk, we talk about he was. He was in the atop the fourth wall video. We don't talk about that. We don't talk about that. We don't talk about that. He's very embarrassed. He's very embarrassed about, about the atop the fourth wall video. We don't so let's not bring it up. No, we don't talk about that. No, we don't actually talk about that. And this, we, no, we don't talk about that. So, uh, and moving on, can we please watch this guy? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you have to shut up. You have to shut the fuck up, so we can watch it. Uh, no. Well, I don't remember what we were talking about before. I think I don't think anyone else does either. So, uh, so it's yeah. It's oh, you getting roasted in the chat, dude. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! That was so fucking loud. What was loud? <laughs> Did that? Was that loud for the stream? Oh, I, I, <laughs> yes, I it was. Okay, we're we're muting this shit. <laughs> It's completely silent for me, so I. I, I <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I have headphones in too. I'm sorry. We're, we don't need the I music. Didn't... It's fine. I didn't we know. Can... It, I didn't know it had audio. I apologize. <laughs> okay. Well, just... Oh shit! I fucked him up. <laughs> it's pretty good. I like the guy's face at the end. He's like, yeah. I mean, uh, this is good. Turn it up again? No, absolutely not. Dude, the, the ref comes in like, dude, what the fuck was your, what's your problem? With you? <laughs> he must have said something. It's like, dude, fucking, why did you do that? It's fucking crazy. All right. Great, great stream. I think this was a very All successful right. stream. Yeah, I, I had fun. I had fun. All the. Have me back soon, so I can fucking uh, say something horrible and evil and ruin your entire career and channel. So you're actually pretty Still. good this time. Well, don't worry, dude. There's plenty of more opportunities for me to say some like racial slur, or some homophobic slur, or some transphobic slur, or some ageist slur, or some. Talk about uh, bears. No, no. Bears. Uh, and now the stream is oh, over. Dude, Thank you guys so for. Bears are so fucking hot, dude. Oh my god.